This video will show you some useful ways to plot and customize error bars in 2D graphs in Origin. Let's plot a scatter graph with error bars. The data points and error bars look too dense. To skip some points, double click the plot to open plot details dialog. On Drop Lines tab, there is a Skip Points checkbox which controls the display frequency of the data points. Enter 9 to display every ninth point. Both some data points and arrow bars are skipped in the graph. To skip arrow bars only, let's plot another scatter graph. Double click on arrow bars to open the Plot Details dialog. With arrow bars selected on the left panel, there is a drop-down list at which point to draw. There are two ways to skip some arrow bars. One is to specify how many arrow bars draw on the graph. The other is to specify the skip frequency. Let's choose draw only n arrow bars. Enter 50. Only 50 arrow bars draw in the graph. Origin also supports drawing arrow bars as connected lines with field area. This is useful for large data set as well. Let's plot a line graph with all columns. Double click on Data Plot to open Plot Details dialog. When plotting multiple data, all white data are grouped and show together on the left panel. The arrow bars show below the group. Let's set Connect Line as straight. The arrow bars show as two curves. Check fill area and the curve and set the fill color. If you don't want to see the arrow bar as curves, you can change the color to be none. Do the same for the other two arrow bars. This is the result after I customize the other two arrow bars. You can also set transparency on Pattern tab to see arrow bars in overlapped area. Sometimes, users' positive and negative arrow bars are from separate columns, for example this data. To plot a column graph with positive and negative arrow bars, there are two ways. One is don't select any column. Click Column Plot button. In Plot Setup dialog, right-click and check Y arrow bar plus minus. Both positive and negative arrow bar controls show. Specify which column is used for X, Y, Y arrow plus, Y arrow minus and click OK. You can see positive and negative arrow bars are from separate columns. The other way is set column C and D as Y arrow and plot the column graph first. Then open Plot Details dialog. Select the positive arrow and only keep the plus direction. Select the negative arrow and only keep the minus direction. You get the same result. Sometimes, user has already plotted and customized the graph and then realized he wants to add arrow bar to the graph. Since he already customized the graph, he doesn't want to plot from scratch again. There are three ways to do so. One is set Y arrow column and set it as Y arrow. Then move your mouse over the edge of the column and drag it to the graph. The second way is to use the Plot Setup dialog. Right-click Layer 1 icon and choose Plot Setup. The bottom panel shows what data is plotted in the graph. Set C as Y arrow in the middle panel and click Replace button. Click OK. The third way is to use Layer Contents dialog. Double-click Layer 1 icon to open it. This dialog can only be used to add and remove data. 
it can't be used to replace data. The left panel shows all available data, and the right panel shows data in layer. By default, all columns in worksheet of current folder will show on left panel. If you have many worksheets or many columns in the folder, it's hard to find out the data you want to add. There are two items in the drop-down list to help you filter out the worksheets on the left panel. Choose worksheets associated with graph. Only worksheets with data in the graph will show. Select the arrow column and move it to the layer. Notice the Y is also moved to the layer when you move Y arrow into it by default. So in this case, remove it. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.